A video captured by a News 9 employee of a road rage incident now has hundreds of thousands of views. After only receiving a ticket there at the scene, the man who allegedly cost it all with a kid in the back seat is in court attempting to fight off two felonies. News 9 Storm Jones has been following this violent crash since it happened over the summer. He joins us live downtown with what happened today. Storm. Amanda and Carl, uh, Stephen Cochran pleaded not guilty to those two felonies today, and we're also learning it wasn't until after our reporting over the summer that OHP decided to beef up its charges. Sir, do you regret running into this, folks? Comment at this time. Thank you very much. The testimony at times testy today as the alleged victim recounted 40-year-old Stephen Cochran slamming into his vehicle at around 80 miles per hour on I-35 last summer. The court also heard testimony from the woman who took the now viral video. She recalled seeing Cochran's four-year-old son in a booster seat. Judge Catherine Savage watched the video and was visibly surprised by what she saw. According to court documents, Cochran told the trooper at the scene the road rage was fueled by testosterone. Ultimately, the trooper let him off with a $249 ticket for improper lane change. We now know that Trooper Chandler Leip was disciplined for not properly investigating the crash. An OHP report reveals only after our reporting did the Oklahoma Highway Patrol review the case and charge Cochran with two felonies, child neglect and assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. The documents say public outcry over the trooper's handling of the situation cast the Oklahoma Highway Patrol in a bad light, only adding to the severity, according to the report, a child's welfare was at risk. And that trooper was suspended without pay for 15 days. As for the man who allegedly caused all of this, he's facing up to life in prison and is due back in court next month. At the courthouse in downtown Oklahoma City, Storm Jones, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.